Department of Homeless Services was in the Bronx today helping those who need a place to stay. All right, Lisa Evers live in the Melrose section tonight. Lisa. Well, Stephen Derry, this is the kind of area that makes for a perfect homeless encampment, but it's totally cleaned out. Now, today we got an exclusive look with the Department of Homeless Services street outreach team as they went making their rounds, trying to improve conditions one life at a time. It's a chilly and rainy day, so this homeless man wrapped himself in plastic trash bags to ward off the weather. Bronx Works outreach workers Juan Rivera and Jose Medina, whose organization is contracted by the city's Department of Homeless Services, or DHS, try to convince him to accept help. If he's picked up off the street and his core issues not addressed, he'll just be back or suffer from exposure. Most folks that we find in locations, there's some reason why they're in the area. Homeless people nearby set up under the 3rd Avenue Bridge. There's a lot more to getting them into housing than just physically moving them indoors. It's really important for us, once an encampment's identified, to have our teams go in and work diligently to get the people out of there. And we offer them all kinds of services. So we're looking at treatment. We also have a low threshold transitional housing model called Safe Haven. A common problem for many in the encampments is substance abuse, says this homeless man who wanted us to protect his identity. He says he's just about ready to accept the team's help. Mostly of the people in the street, they all do drugs. You know what I'm saying? So right now, I think that the, the, the part that takes you to the street is problems, drugs, you know, bad things. It sounds like it's very stressful for you. Yes, it is. It's kind of hard. Like, it's like I'm telling you, you know, you sometimes you not even be able to take bath. Or, or, you know, do like you really are when you're a clean person. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people look at you different. The DHS outreach team took us to a location they cleaned up under the Bruckner. Ten tons of debris and more than 400 needles were removed. A new solid wall was put up and one person placed in housing. There were needles there because there were yeah. people who were using inside. Yeah. So we also had to have the Department of Sanitation come out with their needle removal unit to get rid of some of that before a full cleanup could happen just for safety reasons. Right. The outreach teams try to engage with the people on the streets and earn their trust. It's a slow process, but the only way they believe will yield long-lasting results. Taking small steps where they might see a doctor, where they're eating three meals a day, where they're showering and engaging with the team regularly. It's about improving the life and the health of that person. Now, the DHS workers also talk to community residents to find out about possible trouble spots, and they repeatedly visit encampments that they've already cleaned out to make sure that people have not moved back in. There is no easy solution to this, but they are looking for permanent solutions, and that takes time.